Sunshine during the month of May becomes increasingly strong. In fact, from early May onwards, we're on a countdown to peak solar radiation, which happens only seven weeks later on June the 21st, which is the summer solstice. We measure sunshine through ultraviolet radiation using an index, one being very low and 10 being very high. Now the hottest days of the year tend to be in the UK during July and August when the ground has had a real chance to warm up. But UV levels rise earlier than this and can rise to high before the air feels very warm. And this can be a bit misleading if you are out and about. There may be a cold wind blowing during late spring, but if the sun is shining, you're still at risk of sunburn. There are some places where it takes less time to burn than others. For example, the seaside. That's because UV from the sunlight reflects off the sea surface and light coloured sand, resulting in a higher chance of picking up more rays and increasing the risk of your skin burning. So during sunny days in spring as well as summer, remember to cover up or use sun cream if you're out for any length of time. And after the dark, cold and sometimes bleak months of winter, a blast of sunshine is a welcome change. It has numerous health benefits and makes us feel good. And to be honest, as a nation, it's always a point of celebration when the sun comes out.